Hi there, grade 8. Our lesson for today is Rectangular Coordinate System. But before I begin with my lecture, I'd like you to click the subscribe button for you to get notified whenever I upload new lecture video. Now, the Cartesian plane is formed by two real number lines intersecting at the right angles there the horizontal number line is called as the x-axis and the vertical number line is called as the y-axis each point in the plane corresponds to an ordered pair x y which are called as the coordinates of the points Now, the first number is the x-coordinate, which tells how far to the left or to the right the point is from the vertical axis. While the second number is the y coordinate which tells how far up or down the point is from the horizontal axis so if we have x y here or let me change the color such that again the first number is the x coordinate or this is called as the abscissa And the y coordinate, which is called as the ordinate. So this pair is called as the coordinates. Now we're going to plot the following points on the Cartesian plane. Okay. So we have point A at 3, 5. So the first coordinate is 3 so this is the abscissa while 5 is the ordinate so starting from the origin we're going to count 3 going to the right since the first element or the first coordinate is a positive number so from this origin we'll count 3 going to the right so 1 2 3 so after doing so we're going to count by 5 units up since the second element is positive 5. So from this point, we're going to count 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this is now where point A is. Okay, next. Okay. Point L at 2, negative 3. So, again, from the origin, we're going to count 2 units to the right. 1, 2, and then we'll count 3 units down since the second element is negative 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this point is at 2, negative 3, defined by point L. Next, point G at negative 4, negative 2. From the origin, we're going to count 4 units going to the left since the first element or the x-coordinate or the abscissa is negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to move up by 2 units, by down rather by 2 units since the second element is negative 2. So we have 1, 2. So this is now point G. At negative 4, negative 2. So how about negative 3, 0? So point E is at negative 3, 0. 
So from the origin, we're going to count three units going to the left since the abscissa is negative three. So one, two, three. And then we will, st uh, we will stay here since the second element is zero. So there's no movement going up or going down since the second element is zero. So this is point E with coordinates negative three, zero. Take note that point E lies along the x-axis since y equals 0. And we call this point as the x-intercept. So the x-intercept is the value of x whenever y is 0. And x-intercepts are all located along the x-axis. How about point B at negative 5, 2? From the origin, we're going to count 5 units going to the left since the first element or the abscissa is negative 5. So this is negative 5. And then we're going to um, move up by 2 units since the y coordinate is 2. 1, 2. So this is now point B at negative 5, 2. So we have point R at 0, 2. So since the abscissa is 0, so we will neither move to the right nor to the left since the abscissa is 0. Instead, we will just move up by 2 units. So this is now point R at 0, 2. Point R this time class is what we call as the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is located along the y-axis. And the y-intercept is the value of y whenever x or the x-coordinate is 0. So we have 0, negative 4. Another y-intercept. So again, we will neither move to the left nor to the right. Instead, we will just move by 4 units down from the origin since the second element or the y-coordinate is negative 4. So this is now point C. Point C at 0. Wait. Point C is at 0, negative 4. Now, class, the location or position of a point in the plane corresponding to a given ordered pair is determined by first counting to the right or to the left from the origin, same with what we did in the previous examples. The number of units along the x-axis, as indicated by the first number of the ordered pair, right if positive, left if negative. Then from this point, count up or down to the number of units indicated by the second number of the ordered pair, up if positive, down if negative. So that's what we did in the previous examples. Now, as what I was saying, the rectangular coordinate system is made up of the two number line, the, the horizontal and the vertical number lines, which um, divided or which comes up with four quadrants. So we consider this as the first quadrant, this as the second quadrant, this one as the third and fourth quadrant. So the rectangular coordinate system is made up of four quadrants and two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. So the points are either located on the quadrants or on the axis. Take note that the points on the first quadrant is composed of positive x-coordinate and positive y-coordinate, while points on the second quadrant is composed of negative x-coordinate and positive y-coordinate. For the third quadrant, both the x and the y-coordinates are negative. While on the fourth quadrant, 
the first coordinate is positive while the second coordinate is negative. Now identify which quadrant or axis does each of the following points belong. Okay, so negative 1, 5. So take note that again the rectangular coordinate system is composed of four quadrants quadrant one which is composed of positive x coordinate and positive y coordinate second quadrant negative x coordinate and positive y coordinate third quadrant negative and negative y coordinate fourth quadrant we have positive x coordinates and negative y coordinates. Okay. If either of the elements is composed of zero, then it's either on the x axis or on the y axis. If x is zero, then it should be on the y axis. Otherwise, it should be on the x axis. So, for the first example, we have negative 1, 5. So, we have negative x coordinate and positive y coordinate. So, this point should be on the second quadrant. Both positive x and y coordinate. So, it should be on the first quadrant. Positive x coordinate and negative y coordinate. So we have fourth quadrant for number three. And then y x is zero. So zero five should be on the y axis. This time, y equals 0. So, 3, 0 is on the x-axis. Negative 1, negative 3. So, both elements are negative. So, this should be on the third quadrant. positive x coordinate and negative y coordinate so again this should be on the fourth quadrant zero zero so this is this point is located on the intersection between the x and the y axis so this must be at the origin so that's for the rectangular coordinate system so Goodbye for now.